Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'm Hamid Reza, and today we'll be talking about the test format of IELTS. Well, this video is actually suitable for those who want to take either IELTS Academy or IELTS General Training. So do stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe in case you liked it. As you know, there are two types of IELTS, IELTS Academy and IELTS General Training. All test takers take the same listening and speaking tests, but different reading and writing tests. So do make sure that you prepare for the correct test time. The listening, reading and writing sections of all IELTS tests are completed on the very same day with no breaks in between them, unfortunately. The speaking section, however, can be completed up to a week before or after the test and the total test time is 2 hours and 45 minutes but let's have a general look at how the test will be let's have a look at listening first well the recordings will last about 30 minutes and there will be four recordings of native English speakers in which then you have to write your answers to a series of questions. But let's have a look at the recordings first. The first recording would be a conversation between two people set in an everyday social context. The second recording this time, it's a monologue set in an everyday social context. For example, a speech about local facilities. The third recording would be a conversation again between up to four people set in an educational or training context. For example, a university tutor and a student discussing an assignment. And finally, the fourth recording would be a monologue again on an academic subject. This could be as simple as a university lecture. So basically, the first two recordings will focus on general subjects, whereas the last two focus on academic settings. Next, let's talk about reading. Well, before we talk about the academic reading or general training reading, we need to bear in mind that the reading section consists of 40 questions, which you will have 60 minutes to do so. And it's actually designed in a way that would test a wide range of reading skills. These actually include reading for gist, reading for main ideas, reading for detail, skimming, understanding logical argument, and recognizing writer's opinion, attitudes, and purpose. But let's have a look at academic reading first. Well, this actually includes three long texts which range from the descriptive and factual to the discursive and analytical. These are taken from books, magazines and newspapers. They have been selected for a non-specialist audience but actually appropriate for people entering university courses or seeking professional registration. On the other hand, when we're talking about general training reading, we're talking about uh, reading text which includes extracts from books, magazines, newspapers, notices, advertisements, company handbooks, and guidelines. So basically, these are the kind of materials that you would like to encounter on a daily basis in an English-speaking environment. Let's move on to writing. Well, the writing section takes 60 minutes, similar to reading, but it's very important to know whether you're taking IELTS academic or IELTS general training. So we're going to talk about academic writing first. When it comes to academic writing, the topics are of general interest to, or should I say, suitable for test takers entering undergraduate and postgraduate studies or actually seeking professional 
registration. So you'll be given two tasks. Task one, which is you'll be presented with a graph, table, chart, or diagram, and you're asked to describe, summarize, or actually explain the information in your own words. You may be asked to describe and explain data, describe the stages of a process or how something works or describe an object or event. In task two, you'll be asked to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument, or problem. Basically, your responses to both of these tasks must be in a formal style. Now, let's have a look at general training writing. Well, in terms of general training writing, topics are of general interest. Again, you'll be given two tasks. In task one, you'll be presented with a situation and you're asked to write a letter requesting information or explaining the situation. The letter may be personal, semi-formal or formal in style. And in task two, you'll be asked to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument or problem. Again, what you need to bear in mind here is that the essay can be fairly personal in style. Last but not least, let's talk about speaking. Well, the speaking section usually takes between 11 to 14 minutes and every test is actually recorded. The speaking section usually assesses your use of spoken English through three parts. In part one, the examiner will ask you a set of general questions about yourself and a range of familiar topics such as home, family, work, studies, and interests. This part usually takes between four to five minutes. In part two, you will be given a card which asks you to talk about a particular topic. You will have one minute to prepare before being asked to speak for up to two minutes. The examiner will then ask you one or two questions on the very same topic. And finally, in part three, which is the most challenging part, you will be asked further questions about the topic in part two. These will usually give you the opportunity to discuss more abstract ideas and issues. And finally, this part of the test takes about four to five minutes and that's it. So that brings us to an end. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe in case you liked it. Don't forget to stay safe, stay kind and stay fun.